Hi guys, how are you doing? Coming to you with my uh, week 12 update. <sighs> my week 12 pregnancy update, you guys. Whew, things have changed. Okay, it says, yummy and yucky. You may have noticed that your sense of smell is suddenly very sensitive. You can make, you crave some foods and completely avoid others someday this will seem a lot funnier than it is today so take note of it talk to your doctor if you have cravings for non-food items such as clay or starch um my sense of smell it from the get-go it was very sensitive uh i the smell of seasoning because i like to season my food it now bothers me, it makes me nauseous. Uh, the smell of people, because people have a smell to them. They have different smells to them. And normally I cannot smell it, but now that I'm pregnant, yes, I smell them. I can tell when they done took a bath, when they haven't taken a bath. I mean, I, I smell everything. I sm smell their feet, I smell between their legs, under their arms, I smell their hair, I smell everything, their breath everything so i really don't like to be around people um as far as craving stuff that's not edible that you're not supposed to be eating no i do i do not do that um i do have a, a friend she craves a uh, starch but like uh clay and starch, she do crave that stuff. And she she eats uh what's it called? Red dirt or whatever. But I, I have not been craving anything weird like that. Uh <clears throat> it says fact your baby baby's face now looks very human and he is just over two inches long. His reflexes are developing in his little fingers will soon open and close. Although you still can't feel it, he now responds if you poke your belly. Again, they say I cannot feel it, but I can. When I'm laying on the bed and I put my hand on my belly, I can feel feel the baby doing whatever it is he's doing. And even like my daughter, when her hand is on my belly, she feels it. And the other day, my sister came over and she put her hand on my belly and she felt it. So, I don't know why they say you're not gonna be able to feel it. I've been feeling it for weeks now and I don't know, other people can feel it too. So maybe I'm further along than what they think, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's another thing. I think I am further along than what they think because Yeah, I just, I, I feel like it. Because when I was pregnant with my daughter, they kept telling me I was one thing. And I actually was further along. Like, they they said that she's um, a premature baby. They said she was born early. And I'm like, no, she was born on time. It's just y'all kept saying that she was due on the wrong day. Like, I keep track of everything. I know when my period was. I know when we had relations. I know all of that stuff. So, it's the same thing this time. Like, when I told them how far along I was, and they, when they checked me, they was like, no, you're not that far along. I'm like, yes, I am. Because I'm telling you, I keep track of everything. But... I guess the same thing gonna go with this pregnancy. The baby gonna come, and they gonna say, "Oh, the baby premature. You had the baby early." No, the baby's on time. Like my daughter, she was almost nine pounds when she was born. You know what I'm saying? She was fully cooked. She was not no premature baby. But on, on her file, it says that she's a premature baby, even though she was. Even though I told them what my due date was, and even though she was born. Like, very big. 
they still put it down that she's premature and you know whatever but um i went to the doctor and they checked the baby's heartbeat and the baby has a really strong heartbeat a really, really strong heartbeat and um and the baby, want to tell you how the baby was just the kicking the the little Doppler thing. That's that's why I said I think I'm further along than what they're saying because the baby's just doing a little too much. And, uh, the baby was kicking the, the the Doppler thing, and and by the sound of the heartbeat, you know they say if it's if it's a girl, the heartbeat like real real strong. I'm starting to think that it's a a girl because. The heartbeat was really strong. Like, we all want a boy. My husband wants a boy. I want a boy. My daughter, she wants a boy. But I think it's a girl because this baby is doing too much. <laughs> like, when I put her with my daughter, she used to do a lot at a young age, too. Okay. The doctors, they weighed me, and I, um, I lost six pounds, <sighs> which... It's not good because when I was pregnant with my daughter, I was I lost a lot of weight, and they started me on some thyroid pills because they were saying I was losing weight because of my th my thyroids. And then after I gave birth to her, I didn't have to take the pills anymore because they took my thyroids and it was back to normal. Well, the thing is, when they put me on those pills, they made me gain so much. Weight. I mean, I, when I tell you I gained a lot of weight, I gained a lot of weight. So, I hope the same thing is not happening again. Because I remember when uh, I was pregnant with my daughter and when I was losing weight, they was like, are you eating? I'm like, yes, I'm eating. And they was like, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? You, you're losing too much weight? <sighs> yeah. I hope and pray the same thing is not happening. Like, I talked to the doctor. I was like, I told her, I said, yes, I'm eating. And she was like, yeah, you lost six pounds. And she was like, she's like, she's not tripping right now. She said, but next time I come, um, I should, you know, be done gain some weight. Because she said, I'll be in my second trimester. And she was like, some people, they don't gain weight into their second trimester. So, hopefully next time I go back, I'll be like gain weight. Because if I done lost more weight, they're going to they gonna flip out. And I ain't got time for that. Um, I have been having more energy. So, you know how I tell you, I have to do stuff and then sit down. And, you know, I have to keep taking naps. And, like, now... I still have to, after I do something, like if I walk into the kitchen, I, I get what I want, I have to come back and sit down. Like, I do have to rest a lot, but I don't have to take a nap. So, that's good. I don't have to take as many naps. So, that's that's awesome. Uh, morning sickness. Yes, you guys, I have been having morning sickness. <sighs> I haven't vomited or anything, but in the morning time, I be so extremely hungry. Like, and I, I wake up, I wake up through the night and eat snacks, um, because I have a, beside my bed, I have, like, my snacks, I have my water, all that good stuff. I eat snacks and stuff throughout the night, but when I wake up in the morning, man, I, ooh, yeah, I be starving. And I have been sleeping better, too. Like, normally... Well, y'all know I've been waking up at uh between three or four, three four in the morning. I've been doing that uh, for about a year now. I've been doing it for a while, but ever since I became pregnant, I wake up at uh, three or four, and I wouldn't be able to go back to sleep. I just stay awake. Well, here lately, I still wake up around three or four, but I eat my snack and I I. You know, drink me some water. I go to the bathroom and I go back to sleep. And I sleep until about 7 o'clock in the morning. 
7 a.m. I sleep until about 7 a.m. And then I wake up, eat something, drink something, go to the bathroom, go back to sleep. And I don't wake up again around like 9 or 10 something. And that's great. That I'm able to go back to sleep and, you know, get more rest. Because that's what I need. Um, I'm still out of breath. It is. I don't know why I'm out of breath, you guys, because I'm not big and I'm not doing any running, you know. I don't, I don't understand why I'm out of breath. Um, even though the scale says that I'm losing weight, y'all, my breasts have gotten so big and my bra, I have it on the last, the last little notch thing and I really don't want to buy any new bras because I, I have so many bras. I'm, like when I tell you I have a lot of bras, I have a lot of bras. Like whenever Victoria's Secret have sales, I will go get bras. So I have so many. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop wearing bras and just wear uh, sports bras. Uh, another thing I want to talk to y'all about, lightning. Is it, I think it's called lightning crotch. Like where there's a sharp pain that shoots through uh, my my uterus and on up. I think they call it lightning crotch. You guys, it hurts so bad. It's happened twice. And I just, I don't know. It normally it happens later on in pregnancy, like when you almost do. I don't know why I'm feeling it already. Um, I gotta talk to my doctor about it next time I go to the doctor. But yeah, you guys, that's it so far for my update. Are you pregnant? What are you experiencing? What are you going through? Oh, you guys, I'm able to eat. Uh, a lot more now. That's another thing. My appetite is back, and I'm I'm able to. So that just taking two bites and being full, I'm I'm able to take at least uh three bites now, and that's good. That my appetite is getting up there, and but I'm still you know eating every two three hours sometimes it, at first it had to be every two hours but now i, I can stretch it to three hours <sighs> if you know what i'm saying depending on what i ate the last time but yeah that's it you guys let me know if you're pregnant what you're going through what are some of your cravings and how are you feeling I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're having a blessed day. Bye-bye.